Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Kia Telluride and its 12 speaker Harman Kardon audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, controls, speaker locations. Then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend listening with headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear in the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This is the SX Prestige model of the Telluride coming in with all the bells and whistles, not quite the off-roady trim that is the new X-Pro line, but I'm totally okay with that because I don't really do any off-roading and I would rather have all the luxury features that this one has. Facelifted for 2023, but a lot of things still very similar. If you do wanna see more on Telluride, check the link in the description. We've got our DM review, a little bit of a highway fuel economy test as well. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Pretty good infotainment screen here on the Kia Telluride. I'm not a big fan of how everything looks. I think it's a little more fitting for a less expensive car, something like the Kia K5, a little juvenile. For something as robust and classy as the rest of this interior looks, I'm not a big fan of it. But either way, let's go back over here to media. I like having these physical controls. And then up top here to sound settings. Start right off in the premium sound selection with Quantum Logic Surround an authentic multi-dimensional surround sound experience featuring patented signal extraction technology. That's going to create a more surround sound experience. It's going to artificially make the music seem like it's coming from around you, add a little bit of hollowness. Let's turn that on and off. Ultimately, if you want the most true to recording sort of sound, you're gonna to want to have that off. But admittedly, when I'm just cruising along, listening to some easier music, sometimes I like to have that on. Below that, you have a front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, and then a tone screen with treble, mid-range, and bass adjustment. Let's go through those. most adjustability in there, but should be enough for you to tweak your sounds to exactly how you like it to sound. And that is it for audio adjustments. For audio inputs in the Telluride, you got your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB A port with support for wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And that is it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no sort of streaming services that I see if we go up here to media sources don't see uh, Spotify or Apple Music or anything like that. No wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. However, if you are interested in getting wireless CarPlay in a Kia, a Hyundai, or any other car that doesn't have it, we use this smart box here. It's a very simple thing. Last I checked, like $80, $100, something like that. You plug it right into the USB drive there, and all of a sudden, you pair it up with your phone, and you've got wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. So if you want to purchase one of these, link is in the description. We'll get a little bit of a rub on that as well if you buy it. But that's what we use for cars that don't have wireless CarPlay support. You also don't have a USB-C port. There's power right here, but that's not data. That's um, power only. And there's no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. That's not really the end of the world. For audio controls in the Telluride, you have a nice volume knob here. It's pretty easy to grab onto, decent clicks. It doesn't feel super premium, a little bit of a cheap and a wiggly plasticness to it, but it is nice to use, and thank goodness we even have a knob. And then you've got a volume rocker on the left side of the wheel. For track selection, quite a few different options. You've got seek and track buttons there, a roller knob you can scroll through the system, select with. You can use the touch screen if you're on the proper menu, or right by the volume on the left side of the wheel, it's track selection rocker. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 12 speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got door woofer here, one, or maybe that's a little bit more of a mid-range woofer combo there. One, tweeter two, center uh, mid-ranger there, three, four, five on the other side. 
Here you've got the same setup, six, seven, eight, nine. Coming into the back. 10, 11, some mid-rangers right there in the back, and then 12 subwoofer right there. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away, and we're gonna head out on the road.
happy with the quality of the sound coming out of the speakers, especially on the higher end. It's, it's got a decent amount of crispness, but the power isn't there. There's nothing, there's, there's, the subwoofer that's back there is either too far back or too small or both to really give a powerful driving force to this music. And the door woofers aren't doing enough either to really bring a satisfaction and a power to everything. Yeah, initial impression, especially if you're listening in a parking lot, you're listening at quieter volumes in certain songs, you're gonna go, oh wow, this sounds pretty good. But when you really turn up something more complex and these mid-rangers and the tweeter and everything are working hard, there's no space, there's no room to, to bring out the lower elements of those mid-range instruments. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Speaking of low end for this next song, we're gonna turn the bass all the way up, and see how it sounds. at all coming from that subwoofer. I'm not getting any mirror shakage and I'm getting some slap, some distortion there out of the door speakers. So not not super inspiring. thoughts on the 12 speaker HK Harman Kardon sound system here in the 23 refreshed Kia Telluride with Kia pushing this model so upmarket and making so much that's nice about it and really competing against some of those starting to get into more of those premium type products and brands the sound system does need to start stepping it up to get to that same level like I said there are going to be certain songs that sound pretty darn good in here. But then when you turn things up more complex, you're still getting that high end, you're still getting the crispiness up here, but it's missing the soul and the power. And for that, it's getting a B. I'd say it's a pretty strong B. I'm happy to listen to my music in here. There's nothing insulting, but there's not a lot going on in terms of adjustability. The quantum logic surround doesn't sound fantastic. And like I said, when you're, when you're turning up, you're really trying to bump those music, it's, it's missing that low end element. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Telluride, check the link in the description. I may be squeezing in a members-only sound test on this one as well, so check the link in the description for that. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.